Hello learners once again i welcome you all to my channel educating young minds so after completing first chapter of class 6 science ncert textbook in my previous video let's now take second chapter of our book that is components of food so if you haven't seen my previous video or if you want to watch this video in hindi the link is provided in the description box below so i really hope you like this video and it does help you in some way to educate your mind and yes don't forget to subscribe in this video we will be covering topics such as why do we eat food why do we eat different varieties of food components of food such as nutrients dietary fiber and water different types of nutrients such as carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals balanced diet and deficiency diseases hey i am riya and i have many questions to ask my mother always asks me to eat my breakfast lunch and dinner properly so i daily eat my food and always finish my tiffin in the school but tell me one thing why do we eat food what will happen if i don't eat food do our body needs it so let's answer riya's question riya just as petrol or diesel is fuel for our car in the same way food is fuel for our body food provides us energy and is necessary for our survival riya is now wondering sometimes i eat aloo paratha with curd sometimes i eat dal chawal and sabzi roti mom always asks me to have milk variety of fresh fruits and green vegetables eggs fish etc why do we eat so much variety of food can't i eat foods only which i like do our body needs different kinds of food for some special purpose so riya let's understand it this way we know that food is made up of one or more ingredients and these ingredients contain nutrients roughage or dietary fiber and water nutrients are further classified into carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals and our body needs these different nutrients dietary fiber and water for its proper functioning single food item does not contain all these nutrients so we eat a variety of foods to get all the nutrients i hope riya you got your answer now we know that nutrients dietary fiber and water are different components of food we will now study about each of these components separately first we will study about nutrients then we will study about dietary fiber and then we will study about water so let's first study about nutrients nutrients are substances in our food that are needed by our body for its growth maintenance repair and to function properly we already know that there are five main types of nutrients carbohydrates and fats gives us energy thus food containing carbohydrates and fat are called energy giving foods proteins are needed for growth and repair of the body thus food containing proteins are called body building foods foods containing vitamins and minerals are called protective foods as vitamins and minerals protects us from diseases Now let's study about each of the nutrients separately. Carbohydrates. Main function of carbohydrates is to provide energy. With this energy we perform our daily activities such as walking, reading, playing, sleeping, breathing, etc. Some of the important sources of carbohydrates are wheat, rice, bajra, maize, banana mango papaya melon potato sweet potato sugar cane milk cheese ice cream and sugary sweets now we will do a very simple test to check whether these food items really contain carbohydrates here we are taking bread and potato what we have to do is we have to take a small quantity of the food item to be tested then we have to put 2 3 drops of iodine solution on it and then observe the color of the food item if the food item changes to blue black color it indicates the presence of carbohydrates 
you just have to remember this line food plus iodine solution if gives blue black color carbohydrates present isn't it easy so let's now study about proteins proteins are called bodybuilding foods and they are needed for growth and repair of our body pulses such as moong malka chana beans such as soya bean and peas are plant sources of proteins whereas milk paneer eggs fish and meat are animal sources of proteins the way we did test for carbohydrates let's now do a test to check the presence of proteins here you have to take small quantity of the food item grind this food item and put it into a test tube then add 10 drops of water to the test tube and shake the test tube well after this add 2 drops of copper sulfate solution and 10 drops of caustic soda solution to the test tube and shake well observe the color of the mixture violet color indicates the presence of proteins in the food item here you have to remember this equation food item plus water plus 2 drops of copper sulfate solution plus 10 drops of caustic soda solution if gives violet color it indicates the presence of protein let's now study about fats fats also provides us energy in fact they gives us more energy as compared to carbohydrates some of the plant sources of fats are nuts such as almonds cashew nut and groundnut and oil such as coconut oil, mustard oil, sunflower oil and soya bean oil. Some of the animal sources are milk, cream, ghee, butter, eggs, fish, meat, etc. Now let's study test for fats. Take a small quantity of the food item to be tested and rub this food on a piece of paper. Then dry the paper by keeping it in sunlight for some time and observe the paper. If you observe an oily patch on the paper like this, it indicates the presence of fat. No oily patch means no fat. We will now study about vitamins. Vitamins are needed by body in small quantities. They protect us from diseases and helps to keep our eyes, bones, teeth and gums healthy. There are two main types of vitamins. Water soluble vitamins such as vitamin B and C and fat soluble vitamins such as vitamin A, D, E and K. Now we will study about some of the important vitamins, their functions and sources. Vitamin E keeps our eyes and skin healthy and some of the important sources are mango, pumpkin, carrot, milk and fish oil. Vitamin B is essential for various functions of our body and some of the important sources are wheat, rice, fruits, eggs, fish and nuts. Vitamin C fights against many diseases and some of the sources are amla, guava, orange, lemon and tomato. Vitamin D helps our body to use calcium for bones and teeth and some of the sources are eggs, milk, butter, fish and sunlight yes our body can prepare vitamin d in the presence of sunlight let's now study about minerals minerals are also needed by our body in small amounts they are essential for proper growth and to maintain a good health for example we get calcium from eggs and milk we get iron from apple green leafy vegetables such as palak fish and raisins yani kishmish we get iodine from iodized salt fish palak and ginger means adrak we get phosphorus from rice milk banana chilies so do you remember that nutrients dietary fiber and water are different components of food till now we have studied about nutrients we will now study about dietary fiber and water Dietary fibers helps us in digestion of foods and whole grains and pulses, vegetables such as potatoes, spinach, radish, carrot, lady's finger 
and fresh fruits are some of the sources of dietary fibers. Let's now study about water. Water helps our body to absorb nutrients from our food. It also helps in throwing out some wastes from the body as urine and sweat. We get water from liquids we drink such as water, milk and tea, from cooked foods such as dal and fresh fruits and vegetables. Now we'll study about balanced diet. A balanced diet is a diet that contains proper proportions of carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, roughage and water which is necessary to maintain a good health. It includes cereals and pulses, fruits and vegetables, meat, poultry and dairy products. For having a balanced diet, you should eat more of grains and cereals and fruits and vegetables and less of fats, oil, sugars and salt. Now it's time to find out, are you taking a balanced diet? Remember, junk food or unhealthy diet will make you fat, lazy, you will suffer from diseases such as diabetes and heart problem and thus you will become sad and unhappy. Whereas a balanced diet will make you feel healthy, full of energy, you will have a good memory, happy mood always and thus you will become student of the year. Some points you need to keep in mind while making food. Food must be cooked properly because some nutrients get destroyed in the process of cooking and preparations. For example, vitamin C gets easily destroyed while cooking. So, do not wash fruits or vegetables after cutting or peeling them. Do not wash rice and pulses many times before cooking. Do not throw excess water off our cooked food, for example, a dal. Do not overcook and do not heat food again and again. Ria is now thinking, what will happen if I don't eat variety of foods? The answer is deficiency diseases. Lack of one or more nutrient over a long period of time leads to deficiency diseases. For example, if your diet is deficient in protein, you may suffer from stunted growth that is short height, swelling of face, discoloration of hair that is white hair, skin diseases and diarrhea. And if your diet is deficient in both protein and carbohydrates, your growth may completely stop. You will become very lean and thin and may not be able to walk properly. Now we will see some of the important deficiency disorders due to deficiency of different vitamins. For example, vitamin A deficiency leads to poor vision and night blindness. Whereas vitamin B1 deficiency leads to beriberi. You suffer from weak muscles and have very little energy to work. Vitamin C deficiency causes scurvy. It leads to bleeding gums and wounds take longer to heal. Vitamin D deficiency causes rickets which leads to soft and bent bones like this. Calcium deficiency causes bone and tooth decay. Iodine deficiency causes goiter that is glands in the neck appear swollen. It also leads to mental disability in the children. Iron deficiency leads to anemia. You always feel weak and tired. So, it's very important to take balanced diet to prevent deficiency diseases. With this, we completed second chapter of our book. I hope you liked the video. If yes, then please like, share and subscribe Educating Young Minds. And do provide a feedback in comment section below. Thank you. Have a great day.